hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here i'm cassandra the artist behind maybe designs and here we like to talk about art and motherhood so i am kind of switching it up today usually we have some sort of art topic to talk about but i wanted to share our experience with having torticollis and if you hear little noises, it is because little man is hanging out over here. And he has become very vocal lately. Uh, he has randomly figured out how to fake cough. So if you hear him, he's fine, but he is a little bit chatty. So this morning we had our physical therapy and that's kind of what inspired me to talk about this. Um, when we first, so first I'll explain what torticollis is. It's just simply like the tightness in a baby's neck. I guess it could be an adult's neck as well. I'm not positive, but I know for sure that it's the tightness in the baby's neck, either from like being in the womb, the birth process, things like that. Um, if they sleep like in a carrier too much or in like a bouncer or a swing, anything like that, sometimes their neck just kinks up and causes this tightness. So when shortly after he was born, we noticed that he was favoring one side rather than the other. He would always just turn his head one way and we struggled getting him to turn his head to the other direction. So we talked to the doctor and they said that he most likely had this torticollis but like he was just born, he wasn't that old, we just needed to work on stretching. <laughs> We just need to work on stretching and tummy time. Tummy time seemed like the big old secret sauce here. And it was something that we did not like. So we kept just working with him. We noticed that it wasn't really getting better. Well, I take that back. We noticed that it was getting somewhat better. He was looking both directions. So we just kept working on tummy time. Again, he wasn't a fan of it, but we did as much as he would kind of let us. When he was done with it, he was just like face down in the ground, not having it. So there was no like pushing it extra. He just was a little bit stubborn. So we went back to the doctor. A few months later, we had been in a couple times, they had just said like, yep, yeah, just keep working on the tummy time, everything's fine. And then we went into an appointment and they said that it felt like, the way she explained it was that there was like a bump on his forehead like she could tell from his forehead that something was up and she sent us to the neurologist which at that point that's when we kind of just like rabbit hole down and we're really worried about all of this we kind of thought that it was getting better it wasn't fully improved, but he was moving his neck more than what he was. So we were just confused about this whole process. So we're looking things up and immediately we're just seeing like kind of the worst case scenarios or the most severe uh, situations and it's kids and helmets, which if that happens, that's okay. That was an option for us, but we ended up just doing therapy and have fixed a lot of those problems. Oh. 
since we did notice it early on and we were doing those stretches where we weren't stretching far enough but we were starting to get somewhere uh, I think that really helped make his case not as bad as what it could have been so we went to the neurologist and he looked at his head and like with the tightness of the neck it's like if you sleep wrong and you wake up and your ne neck's kind of stiff well then you don't ever like unloosen it so then it just stays super tight and that's how it was explained to us which made a lot more sense after it was kind of broke down a little bit more and I think at that point we were we had done our own research and we went into this neurologist appointment like expecting to have like x-rays done and he was gonna have to be in a helmet and so we were already like way past like we never would have guessed physical therapy was gonna just fix everything um so the neurologist looked at his head and he said like with the tightness of the neck it affects the way the brain grows so with him not turning his head there's pressure more on one side which then the brain grows like this but when you have like pressure on one side it starts to make everything lopsided so that's where the doctor noticed in his forehead where one side was kind of coming out farther than the other and then if you look directly down on his head you could see his ears didn't line up there was one in front of the other but again it wasn't like a severe case thankfully and he recommended that we go to physical therapy so that is what we've been doing i want to say it's been about a two month journey we might be going into month three we go every other week and there's like stretches and stuff that we work on at home his neck is still tight but again still a lot better than where it was and we have been cleared from the neurologist we're just doing a few more therapy appointments and then he should be good to go his head shape has kind of corrected itself so we're not gonna have to wear a helmet so I just wanted to share that with you in case you have recently heard that your baby has torticollis and you get on the internet and you start looking things up and it can be very overwhelming and I feel like a lot of people share about the more difficult path and I didn't really see a whole lot of people talking about just having physical therapy. I think that it really helps that we have an amazing physical therapist the first time that we met with her bub did great with her they just like bonded right away so we made sure that every appointment since then has been with her so that he can be used to her and comfortable with her i mean she's literally like taking his head and stretching it and everything so you want to make sure that there's a good bond between your child and the therapist but in general, I honestly think that kids going to physical therapy at this age is just really great. She has taught us like different stretches to do with him. She's taught us ways to help him. Like his sight, being able to go from side to side, him being on his belly and rolling around and everything she's currently working with him on sitting up on his own so as a first time parent there's a lot of things that like i don't necessarily know how to do and now i've seen different steps on okay we're gonna use your elbow and teach him how to stay on his elbow and things like that that have been super helpful if you have any questions about 
torticollis. I would love to try to answer them down below. I hope you found this video helpful and encouraging. I know that a lot of times when we hear about these things, it's in those early months and the lack of sleep and just the stress of having a new baby is a lot. So I just want to be here to encourage you and show you that you're not alone. I know that I felt like a bad mom because his neck was messed up and causing all these other problems. If you have been around on the channel then you know that I talk about giving yourself grace a lot and this was another one of those situations that I had to learn to give myself a little grace. I was doing the best that I could. He now loves belly time. He's trying to crawl. So it does get better. Keep your head up. And again, if there's any questions that I can answer, I would love to try. I'm trying to add a mix of mom content into my art content since I am doing both now. So if that is something that you enjoy, then please subscribe and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye!